show. And look at the other learning scene from Sonia. Today, my mom to interview me about the Bible. Okay. I will randomly pick a story in the Bible or the title of the story and you will tell me what the story is about. Okay. okay. The Secret of His Strength It's about Samson Samson? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a known man that was given by God His secret of his strength is that whoever cuts his hair, he will lose his strength Who cut his hair? He fell in love with um, Delilah Yes. Who won? Then five kings came up to her and told her, "We will give you money if you tell, if you tell, if you, if you make him tell him to you his secret of his strength." Mm. But he told a different story. He said, "If you." Tie me up with new bow strings, I'll be weak as anybody else. Lila tried everything, but nothing happened. He still remained strong. Then he said, If you tie my hand to a loom, he'll be weak. But he still remained strong. And then? Mm. Then Delilah said, "If you don't tell me your, if you don't tell me your real secret of your strength, then you don't really love me." Then he told him, her the real secret of his strength that if anybody will cut his hair, he'll be weak. And then. And while he's asleep, Delilah did that. Cut his hair. Hmm. Yung pala yung story ni Samson and Delilah. Oh. I'll pick another title of the story. Father of a Great Nation. Hmm? Father of a Great Nation. What is it about? Hmm. It's about a man and woman who were getting older and did not have any children. And then God spoke to them. Who are they? I forgot their names. You forgot their names? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero you are right. God told them Pangalan ng... that they should go to a land Mm -hmm. Then who is the who is the then, girl or the woman? I forgot the name. But she starts with the letter S. S. Sarah. Yes, it's Sarah. God told the man. Who is the man? It starts with letter A. A. Abram. Abram and Sarah were told that they would have children. He only told Abram. But God sent three men to their camp when they got to the land when they were on the on their journey to the land that God promised them. Where is that land? Asan ba yung land na yun? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Kanaan? Kanaan, Kanaan, go back Kanaan, and mm. then we to Kanaan. Then God sent three men that said, "You and Sarah are gonna have children." But they were old. Sarah said and laughed. 
but we are too old to have children. But Abraham knew that those men were from God. Then, nine months later, Sarah and Abraham had children. Sino yung naging Isaac? Si Isaac and Yes. Isaac. Sino yung isa? Ah. Si Isaac lang ba? Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, si Isaac. Mas kabisado mo pa sa akin ng Bible, baba. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll pick another. I'll pick another title dito sa Bible book mo. Okay. Just pick one that I already read. Your mouth. How about in the desert for 40 years? About Moses and Aaron led God's people, the Israels, out of the Red Sea, out of Egypt. Mm-hmm. As long as you know its history, and then they ended up in the desert. Tapos. And then. God took care of his people while they complained that they didn't have enough food. God took care of his people. And then, one day, Moses' problems came and there. The Hmm. sun beat down and there's not enough water, so Moses prayed to God. God showed him a large rock and told him to strike it with his stick. Then water came rushing out. And then? Then they went. Then they got to the promised land. God promised them. Then God told them instructions how they could get in. Hmm. Yung kasunod na story na yan eh. <laughs> That's another story. Down crashing the walls. Mm-hmm. Next story na yun eh. Well, how about... The Commandments? The Champion of Israel. What do you say about Who is the champion of Israel? I forgot his name. Letter D. Daniel. Delilah. It's a boy. (laughs) But do you remember the story? Uh, Yes. What is the story about? It's about a little boy who is a shepherd boy. And he was a um, he was a boy of God. Mm-hmm. God gave him special help that he could attack lions and bears who tried to get his sheep. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then one day the Philippians had a mighty warrior called Goliath. Goliath, yes. Goliath. I remember his name. Ah. David. David, yes. <laughs> David and Goliath. Then little David lined up to beat him because all of the mighty Israel warriors were afraid of him. He was nine feet tall. Mm. Then David stood up to the king's ha- all. So then he said, I want to fight Goliath. Yeah, Goliath. Goliath. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. he gave 
gave him his own armor, but it was too heavy for little David to carry. So he just put, so he just got five small rocks and put it and put one of them in his sling, and psh, it went up to Goliath's Goliath's forehead. Then he fell to the ground. David picked up his sword and cut his head off. The Philippians. Phili the Philistines. The Philistines. Philistines. The Philistines. Philistines. Philistines were shocked to see that the giant was dead. The end. And he, David, became a champion.